Hello, hello. Look at all these faces. Good morning. Afternoon, technically, I guess. Technically. <laughs> hi, buddy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How's your leg? How's your leg? Oh, yeah. It's oh, broken. man. Aww. Did you have fun in the snow? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go play in the snow this afternoon. Oh. Hey, Meg. Oh. Hello. Okay. Hey, yeah. hey look. <laughs> Johnny's in a tubby right now. Hi, my girl. <laughs> and Finn's showing everybody the snow. Ah. Uh -huh. Where is it? Where's the snow? Hey, Matt. You don't know? There it is. <laughs> Hi. No. Hi. So, Meg, that Shaco pancake, I just made regular, like, Hungry Jack pancakes and then just added the scoop of vanilla Shaco and with the oh. batter. Yeah. That's a really good option for the kiddos. Oh, Clearly, yeah. it's not on our yeah, meal plan, but it's a really good option right. for the kiddos. I, mean, I thought it was regular to eat. Yes. Yes. I am uh, trying to get my before body, so I've got some real good after pictures for eight <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. I did eat two instead of one. I had real pancakes with um, Mrs. Butterworth's syrup, so you're doing better than me. And we had mimosas. I, ate both. I had Shakeology and boiled eggs today. We also had mimosas because it's a snow day. Oh, nice. <laughs> I might have some wine later, though. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Um, Meg, tomorrow night or Saturday morning, we're going oh, shopping if you want to join us. Oh, Me and yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shopping. I could probably go tomorrow. Oh, my day. Uh, yeah, she's baby. driving down tomorrow, so it depends on what time she gets here. Okay, uh, what's tomorrow? Is Friday? Yes, yeah, so it'll be yeah. tomorrow night. So what, what time would you be going Saturday? Like early in the morning? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Not like early, early. Hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You turn into a pumpkin at 7.30 p.m. I do, but I get up early. Like this morning, I got up at seven, but I don't like to. I wouldn't. Out. We wouldn't be getting up early. Not early. Okay. early I'm like nine. Maybe. We're meeting for pictures at like eleven. Eleven. Brandon might have to work this weekend, so he might not be able to go because they've been off so long. So they Mommy. might all. Have to work well, we'll have a babysitter. Well, I have Mommy. Zoe, my stepdaughter. Oh, okay. I just wanted him to come. Yeah. All right, I'm going to mute everybody and we're going to get started. It's so nice to see your faces. Hi, Linda. I see your forehead. Hi. <laughs> um, uh, I think Brittany's frozen because she I can't mute her and I can't unmute her. So we're just going to leave her be. I am going to share my screen in just one second as soon as I can get this loaded because I want to make sure we welcome our new coaches. We have one of them I see on this call right now. Annie is here. Um, Annie's a new coach on our team just this past week. She signed up uh, like yesterday, actually, I think. And so she's brand, brand new. And we are going to welcome her into this crazy community of, um, I would say, craziness, crazy community of craziness. We are um, super excited to have you. If you have any questions, anybody on this team call anybody in our groups, you can reach out to any of us at any time. And I'm sure that anyone will be more than willing to help answer questions. Um, I also want to welcome Ashley. I don't think she, I didn't see her on this call, but somebody's on the phone. I'm not sure. That might be Caitlin. I'm not sure. But Ashley is new on our team as well. Um, she has been a challenger for a long time, but she has jumped into coaching and I'm very excited about that. It's been a long time coming. So I'm excited for that. I want to give a huge, oh, I should record this. Hold on. I should record this. Um, you're recording? Is that what you're saying, Linda? Uh, Leah, you're you are, recording? You are. Yeah. You already are. That's what you're saying? It's been recording already. 
Oh, I am recording. Oh, I am recording. Yeah. I must do it automatically now. That's awesome. Okay. So I want to give a huge congratulations to Taylor. Taylor is a diamond on our team. She is the leader on the team right now. And um, she's the only one that hit 500 PV in December um, in the downline. So super exciting. That means what a 500 PV coach is means that there was 500 volume created from personal orders and customer orders. Um, your coach orders don't count towards PV, that counts towards your team volume. Um, and PV is very much so related with income. I'm super, super excited about this PV board for January already. We've got Taylor's already at 500 PV. Jen Schaefer, you're already at 400 PV. Meg, you're at 300 PV. Brooke Sinnott's at 200, and we've got a bunch of people already at 100 PV. So that's awesome. What this means though, like generally speaking, if all you're doing is buying your Shakeology, you're at 90 PV. So you, your face would not be on this board. Can I help you with something, sir? Thank you. Um, so your name wouldn't be on this board if all you're doing is buying your own Shakeology. It's when you do more than that. When you put in the effort into your business is when your name is going to end up on this board. 500 PV is like the goal for income. If you're really pushing for income, you should be pushing for 500 PV each month. Success Club board, first one of the week. You guys, we've only been in um, the month for one week so far, and I am so excited to see so many beautiful faces on this board. Um, I'm at Success Club 8 right now. We have um, Linda, uh, Michaela, Meg, Jen, Caitlin, and Corinne at Success Club 2. And we have um, Taylor at Success Club 4. If I missed you, please tell me. But I think that's where we're at right now as of last night. So Success Club for the new coaches. What that means is you get two Success Club points for each challenge pack you sell. The reason you want them is because we have a success club trip. Let's see, is somebody in the chat box here? I'm at four now. Whoop, whoop. Way to go, Linda. Um, we have a success club trip each year, and your success club points get you on the list for the success club trip as well as earn. That's how you earn your success club trip. The trip costs $1,200. When you get success club points, money comes off of your trip. I earned my trip as of last year, and I think it was the end of May, is when I earned my trip completely, and I earned it in Paul's account, so we're able to bring friends with us. Um, we're actually bringing Josh Schaefer and Jen Schaefer, they're coming with us, and Taylor got her invite yesterday. So Taylor is coming with us as well. Taylor Perry is on her way to Mexico in April with us. Um, this weekend, they're gonna announce our trip for next year, so all of you will know. Are you telling everybody? Um, so we will know where we're going next year this weekend. I'm sorry. It's a snow day. I have no babysitter, by the way. Um, this weekend, Super Saturday and Super Sunday, Super Friday, depending on where you live. Um, I am speaking at the Charleston Super Sunday this weekend. So if anybody wants to come to Charleston, I would love to have you. Um, there is a Super Saturday, Sunday, Friday, depending on your area, in all of all's all of y'all's locations. Um, Annie, there's one in Lebanon. So if you want to go, it's this weekend. I really, really encourage it. Take, bring a friend. We've got other York coaches um, to take with you if you wanted to go. Um, shoot me a message and I can help you help you find your spot. Um, this is a huge meetup. You learn all about what's coming out with the, uh, for the company in the next few months. Um, we have these events quarterly. We do a huge group workout. You get training. It's just, it's a really, really great way to like get into the community and learn more about Beachbody and find some coach friends to like meet up with and stuff. Um, we have our challenge group going on. I'm kind of just going through all the news right now. We have our challenge group going on. 2018, obsessed with being your best three month, chal three month challenge group. Um, guys, hold on one second. What do you want? Do you want Oh boy, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, 
Our three month challenge group just started this past week. What we're doing right now is a lot of prep work. This is for anyone who purchases a challenge pack. This group is for any paying customer who purchases and is drinking Shakeology or Energizer Recover. We do require that. Um, starting the 15th, we're gonna be switching out the cover photo. This is gonna be our cover photo. We're gonna have a picture of the day. Um, so the 15th, we're gonna have everybody post a sweaty selfie, the 16th of what's in your cup, et cetera, et cetera. Um, It'll give added engagement for the group, something fun to do, so it just keeps the engagement going. Because in an 80-day long group, we need to keep engagement going. It's going to be hard. So that's why I need all of you coaches to make sure you are super, super engaged in this group. You're encouraging your customers in this group because this group is huge. Um, and we want to keep it as engaged as possible. We have more than 100 people in that group dedicated to 80-day obsession. Could you imagine if we have a hundred before and after pictures we get to share after 80 days, like what that would do for our businesses. So make sure you are staying super engaged in the group, helping these people in any way possible, whether they're your customer or not, and just helping them get results. That is our goal. Our mission is to help these people get results. Um, all right. I don't think I put a slide in here about it. Um, summit coach summit is in June. We've got our house booked. So if you want a spot in the house, just let me know. Um, for those of you who don't know what coach summit is coach summit is our, um, annual coach gathering. We do, this one's going to be in Indianapolis. Um, so it's at the Indy 500 racing uh, stadium. I think that's what you call it. The racetrack is where we're, um, holding our actual convention so it's going to be amazing um we're going to have a huge group workout about twenty thousand coaches come and we all work out together for like two hours and it's painful but it is so much fun and the adrenaline rush the high you get from being surrounded by all these other people who have like the same goals and the same mindset as you it's just it's super fun and we get to be together and there'll be wine so just come all right Today, we are going to talk about goal setting. Two things. Last year, we um, did a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls. Uh, we tried to get into a routine, but it just didn't click. So we are going to start that again. One of my goals for this year is one-on-one -on -one calls with my working coaches. And I put that in asterisks because it's with my working coaches. My time is super valuable to me. When I have time to work my business, I need to be working my business so that I don't have to work my business at other hours of the day. So I want to do one-on-one -on -one calls with people who are also working. I will not waste my time having the same conversations of, I know what I need to do. I'm just not doing it. I'm not going to have those conversations. I want to make sure everybody knows that. Like, I want to give you my time if you're willing to put in the time. So goal setting. We need to chat a little bit about how to goal set and then how to get to our goals. So what are your goals? This is the beginning of the year. This is what we do in the beginning of the year, right? We set our goals. What are your goals? How are you going to get there? Who's going to support you in getting there? What does it, why does this goal mean so much to you? And then what? Like once you hit that goal, then what? What are you going to do? So we're going to just talk about this and this is kind of like homework. I want you guys to actually write these things down. And let me, in our group here, I posted in our event page. If you didn't see this, if you go to events, so like I'm in the team page, if you go to events and you click on our team call, um, you'll see like all the listings of all the dates of our team calls and stuff. But I posted this image in here today. Feel free to like write this down on a piece of paper if you don't have a printer or print this out and fill it out. What I want you guys to do is fill out last month's volume or sales, like your volume from last month. Last month's personal volume, so your PV and your team volume. So you can kind of see where you were at. You need a benchmark to be able to judge what to do this month. So figure out where you were last month. Um, how many people did you sponsor last month? How many coaches did you sign? How many... Did your team sign? So your team, not us as a greater team, but you and your downline, how many did your team sign last month? And then what are your current goals? What are your current goals for this month? Personally sponsoring goals, what are you gonna commit to doing? And what is like a stretch for you? Your personal sales goals, what are you gonna commit to as your volume and what's your stretch? And then do the same thing for your group, your team. What would you like your team to commit to? and your team to commit to for sponsoring and sales. 
I know a lot of you are just starting out. You don't have business builders yet, but maybe that's your goal. One working coach. One coach who sells one thing. That would be a really great goal for someone who doesn't have any business builders yet. So then what support do you need in achieving these goals? Like what, like be honest with me. What do you need help with to do this? If you say you want to sponsor one goal or one customer, or I'm sorry, if you are telling me you want to sponsor one coach, what do you need help with to do that? Do you not know how to present the opportunity? Do you not know how to post about it? Do you not know how to actually physically sign somebody up? What do you need help with in order to do that? And check off the things at the bottom. Are you committed to making a new contact, new contacts every day? Did you find an accountability partner on our team to work with? And are you committing to schedule times with me or your upline, if you're not my coach, your upline, um, to go over these goals every single week? If I'm going to post every Monday in our team page that you can schedule um, a call with me for that following two. So I'm going to post Monday, you can schedule a call for Tuesday. I don't want you to schedule calls out weeks in advance because I want to see this sheet on Monday when you schedule. If you provide me with this sheet from the prior week, then that, that week we can have a call. But I'm not going to schedule a call with you until I see this sheet and I see you are committed to doing the dailies. Okay, going back to our presentation, sorry. Okay, so we're going into goal setting. I'm being, I'm being serious with this because I need everyone to be serious with this. This is my time. My time is super valuable to me. And the more this team grows, the more I have to be very focused on people that are going to keep moving the whole team forward. Make sense? Um, so as you think about where you want to end the year in your business, goal setting is a good idea. You need to, like, you need to figure out where you want to be and you've got to figure out your goal to get there. A great idea though is to plan how you're gonna get there. Having the goal is great, but how are you going to do that? Brittany talked about this a long time ago. For those who don't know who Brittany is, Brittany is our top grandma, she's my grandma, great grandma coach. So she's your great, great, or great, great, great grandma coach. She is the top of, um, she's the top of our business right before Lindsay Matway. So she is, been doing this for like four years now. She has a huge business. She has a really great paycheck and she talks all the time about goal setting, but how more important it is to plan, plan how you're going to hit that goal. Cause if you have a goal and no plan, you don't have anything. So how many of you are measuring by just a show of hands, I'm going to slide through you all. How many of you are measuring the number of customers or coaches you're, you've brought on each month? Who's doing that? Who's checking to make sure that you know how many coaches and customers you bring on each month? Okay, I see some hands. But are you checking your daily progress? Do you know how many people you invited each day? Do you know how many people you've talked to each day and have conversations with each day? Do you know, are you tracking your dailies? I see some people saying yes. That's awesome. We, this is what we're going to be doing. We have to be proactive and have a plan. So we need to create a list, go through your phone, your Facebook, your memory joggers, and set a goal of how many people you want to talk to per day. So if you're serious about increasing your pace and seeing results, I want you to focus on this for the next 90 days. We, we've been talking about 80-day obsession, and we've been saying, like, 21-day fix, we got such great results, but can you imagine what's going to happen in 80 days, especially when these workouts are an hour long? Like, can you imagine what's going to happen in 80 days? Imagine what would happen in 90 days if you worked your business every single day. Imagine what could happen in 90 days. So that's what we're gonna focus on is the next 90 days. Um, first quarter, we're just gonna focus on making, pretend the first quarter is the end of the year. 12 week year. If you haven't read that book, it's a good idea. Focus on the next 12 weeks. Um, this is what's gonna lead to your ultimate goal of higher rank, more volume, and bigger paychecks. You can't control the title at the end of the month, but you can control your daily activity, which leads to your new recruits, which eventually leads to the title and the volume. So this is, these are the things I want you to track. Prospecting and presenting. So that's the invite. That's the creating new relationships and inviting. So whether you're doing three-way calls with me, which I'm welcoming you to do. If you have someone you want to talk to about coaching, let's do a three-way. 
I'm happy to jump on it. Three-way messaging on Facebook, fine with that. Maybe it's a one-on-one, -on -one, you and that person. Um, maybe you're doing a live meeting with multiple people all at the same time. However you're doing that, um, maybe it's just one-on-one -on -one messaging, maybe it's a one-on-one -on -one phone call or a video chat, however you're doing that, try for three every single day. That's your goal. That's a great goal. Five is an even better goal. 10 is a, I'm all in this and I want to make this my business. I consider that the 10X rule. That's another great book if you need a personal development book. So number two, lifestyle marketing. I really like this. I, I was reading about this this morning. Lifestyle marketing. This is something I'm committing to this year and passing out sample packs. I'm gonna have some Energize and some Shakeology packages in my purse at all, or diaper bag, at all times. Because how many times do you go out, or like even hydrate? You go out, especially where we live, we live at the beach, which you wouldn't know it with the snow outside right now, but we um, go out and we see moms giving their kids Gatorade all the time. If I had hydrate and I was like, try this, see if your kid likes it, it's all clean. That might be a way to get, just start conversations. So you can at least pass out one sample, a business card or a tool, maybe like a, Hey, I'm doing this free group. Give them your Facebook name or like get their, get their con swap contact information, anything like that. When you're dropping the kids off at school at the grocery store, guys, I'm the queen of awkward conversations at the grocery store. Let me tell you. Oh, Hey, I see you're buying eggs. I'm buying eggs too. Let's be friends. I'm really, really weird and awkward. Um, but I encourage that. I encourage relationship building and just making friends with people. Um, so maybe you're running an errand, dropping the kids off at of school, make a friend. Someone just commented, hold on. Okay, bye Linda. Um, no's, the more no's you get, the closer to a yes you are. When you know your own personal set of odds, you'll have a better idea of what it takes to double your results and accelerate your pace. And I'm gonna, that brings me to this. So I think it was Meg or Summer who was like, or maybe it was Brittany, I don't know. It was one of you guys who said something about like, oh, I've talked to five people today and everybody said no. That's a good thing. There's another book, Go For No. If you haven't read that one, that's another good one. Full of personal development today. But um, the more no's you get, the more yeses you're gonna get. Go for the no, it's okay. So let's see here. I've got some trackers for you guys at the end, but personal activity and daily disciplined focus, laser focused. I don't want you to work all day. I don't, I don't want any of us to work all day. Pick a time, whether it's an hour or four hours, pick a time that you are going to dial in. You are going to turn off phone notifications and notifications from that crazy message thread we have. And you are just going to focus on this. You're not going to respond to anybody's unicorns. You're not going to respond to um, any text messages from your husband. You're not gonna do anything. You are going to work for your period of time and stay focused. Um, this is what's gonna help you get to your goal in the next 90 days, is actually being focused during your work time. To get you ready, I want to I want to do the following things tomorrow. I want you to do the following things tomorrow before the weekend. Set a plan with me, or if I'm not your coach, your upline coach. If you want to set a regular time to talk, you need to be committed to tracking your activity and come to the call with the numbers and results. I'm going to give you the trackers to use right after this. I also want you to get a power partner. So these are your three things for your homework. Set a plan, get a power partner, Find someone on this group who you have similar goals with. If you need help picking a partner, I'm happy to help you pick a partner. Um, but pick a partner on this team that you guys can um, like hold each other accountable. Send each other your daily trackers just to make sure you did them each day. And or send yourselves, send each other like a Snapchat of like, I did mine, did you do yours kind of thing every single day to make sure you get them done. Um, and then number three, track your daily activity. Rain or shine no matter the circumstances, no matter what, for 90 days. Our workouts are a non-negotiable. So should your business, if, this is, if you're a coach, those two things should be non-negotiable. So workouts and trackers. I'm not telling you how much you have to track. So here's your weekly activity tracker. These are conversations, actual true conversations, whether it's via messenger, whether it's via um, phone, live chat, FaceTime, in person, whatever it is. I want you to have set your goal. Are you going to do three a day, five a day, or 10 a day? And I want you to mark them off when you have them. Maybe even write their name in so you remember who you talked to that day. 
but true meaningful conversations related to an invite to either coaching or the challenge groups. And then we have this one. Share one sample every day. It could be a sample. It could be a business card. It could be exchanging phone numbers. Whatever it is, make sure you get one in-person something each day. I know, guys, I don't even leave the house sometimes, so this is going to be hard for me. I might have to double, ha double up on the days that I go to the grocery store and be extra awkward. And I say grocery store because that's literally the only place I go sometimes. Um, maybe I'll go to Paul's work like for lunch and just hang out with his friends and just make friends. And here's your go for no tracker. Guys, I love this tracker. Start it today and by the end of January, try to get 100 no's. Go for the no. Get people to say, physically say, no, I'm not interested. Because in that process, you're gonna get, yes, I'm interested. And you're gonna be like, dang it, I can't mark it down. But you're gonna be like, but I like that paycheck. So these are, this is it, that's all I got for you. I want you guys to track your businesses and I want you to, I'm just stopping sharing so I can see your faces. Um, I want you to hit your goals. I'm not making your goals for you. You're all here because you have a goal with the business. So if that means three invites a day or 10 invites a day, I don't care which one you pick, but make sure you're doing something because you're here and you want to. Make sense? Okay, I'm unmuting and we get to chat for a little bit. I've got somebody in the chat box. Gotta go, let me know what I missed, Taylor. Um, all right, I'm un unmuting. Boom, boom. This voice stinks, but no. Wait. Hey guys, you're all unmuted. You feel free to chat. Anybody? Questions? Nothing? Come on. Somebody's got questions. It doesn't have no to be questions. related. If it's this not related, that's fine too. Great. What's up? I just have to say that this was like real, like this is exactly what like kind of structure that I need. Good. And never had before. So oh, that's good. <laughs> good. So I think that this, this is a really basic, basic like activity tracker. So you guys should still be friend, sending your friend requests and stuff like that. And if you're brand new to this, like Annie and Michaela, I don't see who else is on here. Um, I want to do a call with you guys. Monday night is our new coach call with the Upgraded Alliance, which is my coach, Nicolette. So at nine o'clock on Monday, we have a new coach call. I invite all of you to jump on that call. Anyone who wants to jump on that call. It'll be, there'll be a ton of value. But um, definitely brand new coaches, be sure to be on that if you can, nine o'clock on Monday night. Um, but I want to get on a chat either one-on-one -on -one with you guys or like as just a small group and show you actually how to work your businesses. I know I gave you guys the like checklist, but what I would suggest is like for a brand new coach, what I would expect, sh post your workout every day, share that you're working out from home and why it's so beneficial and easy and how like it's perfect for anybody basically. Um, and then be expanding your network from day one. So friend requesting new people. So you never like run out of people to talk to. And my favorite way to do that clearly, because that's how I met both Annie and Michaela is, um, friend request my spouse's friends, all of his friends. Um, then he hates that by the way. Where it's been. And then, uh, I was just trying to think, sorry. Oh, and then just sharing on social media, just being you, just sharing and having a presence on social media. Let people see you all the time on social media. Those are just my little tips for brand new coaches. And don't get overwhelmed because this business is a roller coaster of overwhelmed. Hey, I got this. Oh no, no, I don't. Overwhelmed. Oh, hey, I got this. This is totally the business. Anybody? Questions? Anything? Excitement? Everybody ready to rock 2018? Because I am pumped about it. Yeah? Did I listen to the call last night? Uh, what was last night? The Bob Healy one. No, I didn't listen to it. What was that about? <laughs> It was, can you hear me? Yep. It was about starting conversations and, uh, hang on. I got the, I'll, I'll send it to you. I got the slides that he shared. Okay. Did he send a recording it. at all? 
I'm sorry. Did he send you a recording at all by chance? I think I think he did. I think he said he was going to send this live. I'm looking for the email. Um, okay. He was going to send both of those. And also, he said, if well, whomever listens to it, he said that he's given a one month trial for his legacy uh, thing for a dollar. Um, do you know so, why they do that? Just so you know, the reason they say it's for a dollar is so you have to put your credit card information. So they yeah, automatically right. charge you on th day 30. So make sure you cancel if you don't want it. But I, right, right. Heard Bob Healy is awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll send it to you. It's, yeah, please. And then I'll share it with the team. Um, okay. we have, we've done a Bob Healy social media engagement training before that was really good. And it talked about like, um, the first 15 minutes after you post are the most crucial times and stuff like that. So I can, if I can find that one, I'll share that one too. But when you're looking on Facebook, on Facebook, there's always like going to be like these ads that pop up that are like network marketing training and stuff like that. If it's free, do it. Don't ever stop learning, but also implement it. Don't just do it and never do anything with it. If you're going to waste your time, like if you're going to like waste your time watching that video, make sure you're implementing whatever it is you're learning. Don't just waste your time. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's jump off. Homework is, I'm going to, my homework is I'm gonna upload this to YouTube and I'm going to share the slides on our team page. But the homework is on that page, it's the last page, um, three things. Set a plan with me if I'm your coach if you wanna chat next week. Get a power partner. Find a partner on this team. If you need help finding a partner, message me or comment in our group, pay, our group threads and stuff like that to find somebody and track your daily activities. So either print out those pages, create your own pages or whatever you wanna do and um, start tracking. And then on our call, if you're scheduling a call with me, we're going to make sure we go over those things. So you need to submit those before the call, okay? All righty. Everybody got real quiet. For those of you who are new to our calls, usually it's more chatty than this. All right, Super Saturday this weekend. If you're going, go. If you're not, go. <laughs> um, find one to go to. Tatiana, we need to chat. Tatiana will be at mine. Leah will be at mine. Jen will be at mine. Uh, Meg will be at mine. Who else is coming? Courtney, maybe? Taylor will be. Uh, Taylor Davis will be at mine. Um, anybody else? I don't know. I think that might be everybody. But if you guys want to travel to South Carolina, you've got a place to stay with Jen in the guest room. All righty. Safe travels tomorrow, Jen. Yeah, Leah. I, for, I forget for the um, the Shaco bar. Do you have ice? We'll have ice. Coming? Yeah. We'll have okay. ice. Okay. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. We'll have everything there for you. You just need to be there. You just need to man it. And if you're coming 11 o'clock, be at the hotel for team photos. Don't be late, please. And we're wearing workout gear and changing into business casual. Sweet. All right. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye. Bye.